Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the mat. Our practice for today is all about the breath. It is a pranayama practice. So what that means is that we will not be moving around on our mat today. We will be in a seated position working on a few different pranayama practices, uh, so breath work practices. If you are unfamiliar with the practice of pranayama, what it is, why we practice it, it's many benefits, I will link to a pranayama guide in the description below that'll kind of talk you through a little bit of breath anatomy as well as the um, reasons why we practice pranayama, and it's got a few really great beginner pranayama practices in there. So I'll link to that in the description and you can check that out. Um, if you do want to pair this pranayama practice with a, an asana practice, so movement on the mat practice, I will link to last week's vitality practice, which will pair with this nicely as this will be a vitality pranayama practice. Vitality is our theme for August. Um, so that's what we'll be tapping into with the breath today. So last week, we tapped into that um, sense of vitality through some strong movement, through some arm balancing and um, core awareness. And this week, we're focusing on the breath. Um, alrighty. So you won't need any props for today, except for maybe a meditation cushion. I'm sitting up on my uh, Bloom Zafu, which is my favorite meditation accessory. Um, if you'd like to grab your own Bloom Zafu, I will link to that in the description below as well with a uh, coupon code so you can grab five bucks off your very own Bloom Zafu. Alrighty, my friends, um, you won't necessarily need a yoga mat for today. You might just want a cushion, a meditation cushion, um, maybe a blanket underneath your legs. Maybe you want to sit in a chair that is also totally cool for this pranayama practice. And last thing before we dive right in, if you enjoy the channel and you enjoy this work and you feel you benefited from it in some way, I encourage you to check out the Roaming Yogi Patreon page and consider becoming a Roaming Yogi patron at the membership tier of your choice. I will link to that in the description. It's got all the information. I encourage you to please check that out. Alrighty, that's it. Go ahead and gather your favorite meditation accessories and I will meet you right here in a tall seat. Alrighty, my friends, sit up nice and tall. The legs can be in any configuration. Like I said in the intro, if you want to sit in a chair with both feet planted on the earth, that is perfect. You can sit like I'm sitting with one um, shin kind of in front of the other. You can sit crisscross applesauce. You can sit up on the shins um, with the knees in front of you, maybe on a block or meditation cushion really any position that feels most comfortable for you. We're going to be here for a little bit, so find what feels good. Um, so your preferred meditation seat. Um, pranayama is not a meditation practice, but it can be quite meditative. And it's a beautiful practice to sort of prepare us for meditation. So for a really full practice, you'll want to maybe start with some pranayama, move into an, an asana practice, some movement, finish with some pranayama, and then enter right into meditation. Uh, that's really the secret sauce. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we're focused on vitality, which is energy. It's that life force. In yoga, we refer to it as prana. And prana is that life force energy that animates all things. And the breath is the physical representation of prana. So we'll be tapping into that with the breath today. Allow the hands to rest wherever feels comfortable. So on the knees, the thighs, depending on the configuration of your legs, wherever they land that feels best for you, allow them to land there. And then gently invite the eyelids to close. And take a moment here to become aware of your natural breath. So we're not doing anything with the breath. 
allowing it to be natural, simply becoming aware of its presence. Noticing the quality of your breath. Is it a shallower breath? Is it a deeper breath? Where are you feeling it the most? And with this gentle awareness on your breath, tune into your energy in this moment. So notice if you, if you feel really vibrant, if that sense of vitality is already present in your breath and body, and 100% okay if it's not, if you're feeling maybe a bit more um, stagnant or um, stiff in your energy, if that makes sense, just notice what's present. Whatever it is, is 100% okay. We're simply taking inventory of the quality of our energy before we begin to work with the breath. Now gradually begin to bring more depth and length to your breaths. So allow each inhale to move a bit further down into the abdominal cavity, expanding the belly. And on your exhale, allow the navel to press back towards the spine as you sort of press the air up and out of the body. Taking just a few more rounds of breath, just like this, really deep inhales. And a long exhale. And from here, we're going to come into Kapalabhati Pranayama. If you're familiar with Kapalabhati, you can keep the eyes closed as we begin to prepare. If you're unfamiliar with Kapalabhati, you might want to open the eyes for a moment. For Kapalabhati breath, we want a sharp, forceful exhale. The inhales will be passive. You don't even have to think about them. They'll sort of happen naturally. And you want to make sure that the navel's pulling back towards the spine with each exhale. So I'll turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. The breath will be in and out through the nose. So you want to seal the lips. And it's going to look something like this. Look and sound. So it might be helpful if you're just starting with Kapalabhati or you've never practiced it before to bring one hand on your belly and really feel for the navel pulling back towards the spine with each forceful exhale. You want to make sure that you're sitting really nice and tall through the spine, rooting down through the sitting bones, crown of the head reaching skyward. So really, really long in the spine. If at any point you start to feel dizzy, lightheaded, um, if you have any blood pressure issues, if you suffer from vertigo, take this really nice and slow or maybe skip this entirely. You can come into an ujjayi breath instead, slight constriction in the back of the throat, making that audible sort of ocean sounding breath. Um, If you do start to feel a bit dizzy or lightheaded, please pause come into ujjayi or simply a natural breath. If you need to bring forehead to the mat, please feel free to do that. So you can take this breath really nice and slow. It'll sound like this. (sighs) 
that feels okay, you can speed it up. Whatever feels best for you. We're gonna come into a few rounds of this. We'll pause and take natural breaths in between. So go ahead, if you open the eyes, go ahead and reclose them. Root down through the sitting bones, crown of the head to the sky, lengthen through the spine. Go ahead and take a deep inhale and begin. Exhale all the air out and take a deep inhale. Hold the inhale, three, two, one, exhale. Allow the breath to be natural. And notice any shifts in your energy. Notice any shifts in your physical body, any changes at all. So you might feel some heat starting to build. You might feel sort of a surge of energy. That's that vitality. So this is really, it's a very vital breath. It's a very active, awake, alive breath. Alrighty, preparing for our second round, sitting up tall in the spine, taking a deep inhale. And begin. Exhale all the air out. Deep inhale. Hold the breath. Three, two, one. Exhale. Again, allow the breath to move naturally in and out of the body. Notice any shifts in your energy. Alrighty, one more round, just like that. Kapalabhati, tall through the spine, deep inhale, and begin. Exhale all the air out. Deep inhale. Hold three, two, one. Exhale. Natural breath in and out of the body. Notice the quality of your energy here. Notice any shifts. For our next pranayama, we'll come into bastrika, which is a bellows breath. And it is very similar to kapalabhati, with the exception that your inhale is forceful as well. So the inhale and the exhale are both forceful and both pretty audible. So it'll sound something like this. 
So the navel to spine on the exhale is still happening. We're just adding a forceful inhale. So again, sitting up tall, long spine. Take a deep inhale and begin. Long exhale, deep inhale, hold three, two, one, exhale. And again, notice what you notice. What do you feel as you come out of this pranayama? Any shifts or changes in the physical body? in the breath, in the energetic body. Bastrika is a very powerful breath, so notice the effects that it has on you. And we'll come into one more round of Bastrika just like the last. So tall spine, deep inhale. And begin. Exhale the air out. Deep inhale. Hold three, two, one exhale. Allow the breath to be natural. Notice a sense of energy, a bit of heat in the body. I'm working very much into the Manipura chakra, solar plexus, right at the center of the core. So last week we tapped into that with crow pose and side crow pose. And this week we're tapping into that same place, but just with the breath. To finish out this pranayama practice, we'll come into an ujjayi breath. So bringing slight constriction to the back of the throat and sort of toning up the throat. It's the sensation of trying to fog up a mirror so that <sighs> but you're doing this with the lips sealed and you want to feel that sensation along the back of the throat on both the inhale and the exhale. So it'll sound something like this. So we'll come into that for just a few moments here, sitting up tall and beginning to turn on your ujjayi.
Go ahead and release the ujjayi breath. Once again, allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm. And again, checking in with your energy in this moment. Ujjayi is a very expansive breath. It sort of forces us to make our breaths a little bit bigger and longer. And in doing so, we also expand our own prana, which is that vital life force energy. And see if you can tap into that here in these last few moments, that sense of vitality in your energy. Go ahead and bring the palms to touch at heart center and bow the head gently towards the hands. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in this pranayama practice today. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me here for this pranayama practice. I know it's a little different to what we normally do, but pranayama is an integral part of the yoga practice. It is one of the eight limbs of yoga. So it is just as, if not maybe more important than the asanas, than the physical practice. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the eight limbs, I'll link to a an article on the eight limbs of yoga as well. So you can check that out if you want to know a little bit more about the overarching full practice of yoga. Thank you so much for joining me here on the mat, and I'll meet you right back here next time.